Holy crap, guys, I was just about to give up. And then a lovely lady from the front desk came out and showed me where the Spirit Monopoly game is. There it is. Oh my gosh, I am totally buying that right here, right now, in Sacramento, California. All right, guys, I had time to do two locations here in Sacramento, and I am at location number two, and look at this place. I don't know what this place was. Online it says, like, former Lomans or something like that, but this whole shopping center is called Lomans Shopping Center. So I'm going to have to ask inside what that was, but how cool does that look? I love those three yellow canopies on there. All right, let's do it, guys. Location number two, Sacramento, California. All right, here we go, guys. I am excited. I'm always excited to be going into a new spirit Halloween. Look at this, guys. Everybody is going right now. We got Papa Pins going. We got Miss Leatherface going. We got the Martian going back here. And we have all the sounds, including the hooting owl. Papa Pins is just as tall as he is supposed to be miss leatherface is just as barrel chested as he's supposed to be i guess oh look at this we have a headstone back here i didn't notice this before death awaits to all who enter here is that always at the gate of the spirit hollow cemetery and i just missed it i know that lord farquaad is not always sitting here all right let's just take a quick look around and see who they have they have the martian over here of course we have the widow right here all right we got slim oh, look at slim's hair what the heck <laughs> it's like all over the place it's so hilarious the props that have the big bushy hair every store you go into their hair looks totally different and i can already hear gorgeous george over here going ballistic all right let's go in here it looks like we have the scary sitting scarecrow set up yes sir Let's leave him a couple of stickers in his bowl there. And we have Dagger Mike over here. Let's go ahead and get him going while we're standing here. Come on there, Mike. All right, ooh, he hit this. Was, just, was this on a second ago and then it went off when he hit it? Maybe not, I don't know. I have to remember to say hello to Grim though. How you doing there, buddy? Look at this, guys. They are completely stocked with the bobbleheads here. Let me take, oh yes, here we go. Okay, we keep looking for the ghost face doormat in all the stores we're going into and I finally found one. Now I could be wrong. I think they have another one yet. But this is the first one I've seen since I did that video about everything Ghostface. I don't see another one over here, but I do like this one here that says no feet and it's ghosts. All right, let's just take a walk around the store here for a minute before we get too deep into anything specific. We got a couple of floor candelabras here. Let's see, any animatronics back here? We do have this other setup back here. So let's go ahead and look at these. It's only like a half a setup. They don't have the front where you would usually have like the Howling Spirit and uh, Hex Spawn and Darling Dolly. But let's go ahead over here because I know that we have the jumping spider behind the doors. All right, come on, sir. Yes, very good job. All right, let's go over here and see if we can get Skelly Bones going. I know I hear you, I'll be there in a second. All right, come on, Skelly Bone. I hear you, we missed him jump, holy crap. I'm sorry, sir, but we've seen it before. Hello, miss, talk to you later. The Black Heart, let's go ahead and get him going for a second here, even though, to me, he's kind of boring. All right, he's pretty loud. He's kind of boring to me though, guys, because like all he does, he opens that arm and then he stands there and talks very slowly. All right, let's come on over here on the other side. I hear so much sound coming from the other side here. I expected to see maybe the other setup over here because the sound is so loud behind the wall here, but it's not here. All right, anyway, let's keep on moving here, guys, and see what we have back here. Look at this. We have a whole plethora of the killer critters. Is this sign up in every store above these guys? I, th I think this is the first time I've ever really noticed that. The killer critters. 
but we know them as the hallow rat and carrot and scabs of course who is best friends forever with carrot and then we have the creeping cats we have even more creeping cats hold on we carrot down we got a carrot down <laughs> let's go ahead and put him back up here we can't have a carrot down not on my watch and surprisingly i don't see any secret keeping cats in that lineup but I do see some cauldrons, so let's leave some stickers in there. We do have the devil door knocker here, and we have the vampire door knocker. I've seen those on clearance in a lot of stores, actually. I don't think I've ever taken a second to look at the skull steak set. I think you just jam these into your yard, and you if you're setting up like a voodoo scene or something. Look at the face on that guy. Wow, every store that I come into now is pretty well stocked with these blow mold decorations here. Have I seen this guy? I'm pretty sure I have. This is almost like the howling spirit. Does he do anything? Oh, he makes sound too, listen. He's very quiet, but he does make sound. He's more like the bundled spirit. We got the skull stacks, the pumpkin stacks. We have all these little blow mold guys here, which are so cool. And I keep saying I like the green one best because I love this green color. However, I don't know, man, I like this purple one too. I have to grab her from the eyes. Sorry, miss, I'm grabbing you from the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> they have a kind of small mask section in here. Of course, it is a smaller store than the usual ones, but they do have the saw, and they have the Martian warrior here, and they have Leatherface, and they have Michael Myers, and I believe this is the 2018 mask. Oh, and look, behind it, they have the Halloween Ends mask. Pretty much all the stores have all these vintage masks, and these I really like because these are like what you could get back in a day when I was a kid and you were going trick-or-treating. You'd have to go to like the grocery store or something like that, and they'd have them behind the counter. But they came in a box that came with like the mask and then like this uncomfortable plastic thing you'd just put over your box. Body. And I've probably said this before, but I remember my brother having that one. I like the red velvet skull mask. That's cool, and it feels really soft. <laughs> this is a pretty dang good looking crouchy mask. I don't know how many crouchy masks I've seen in the stores, but that is really good looking mask. Of course, Nighty Night is always one of my favorite masks in here because I think it's built so well. It's a, like a harder plastic, and I don't really like the harder plastic ones. I like the softer plastic ones better, but this one looks so good, doesn't it, sir? Yes. And this is one that your jaw goes right in here, and as you talk, the mouth talks. Hello, holy man. Hello, none for you. I'm really surprised there are no uh, secret keeping cats lurking anywhere in here. Let's see. Yes, here we go, guys. We have four of the ham hocks. Who wants the ham hock? One ham hock for sale. We have the hook head hog, the double head Fred. I don't see any hook eye guys, though. It looks like they do have a good selection of the talking dolls, though. We have the decrepit haunted doll, Eerie Emma. We have the butcher here. We have devilish Desmond, monkey chimes, and... Oh, we have the demonic dolly back here. And I was really surprised in the last store, the other store that I was at, uh, Sacramento, they actually had a Crouchy, a talking Crouchy doll. I haven't seen him in any stores this season. Oh, here's something else I haven't looked at yet. The tabletop flame lights. Those are pretty cool. Those are kind of like what's hanging in there by Dagger Mike. And then these Hauntly things, those just look weird to me. If anybody has bought one of those, let me know how cool it actually is because it just looks kind of strange to me. Let's look at some of these inflatable costumes, guys. If you remember, I bought a whole bunch of inflatable costumes last year at the end of the season. Look at this. They have the inflatable donkey. You cut me real deep right now, Shrek. The inflatable chicken. I love the inflatable super skins. We got a blue and a black. We got the inflatable dino here. Inflatable circus clown. That one's pretty funny. The inflatable balloon animal. I think I bought that one. Holy crap, look at this. 
inflatable ride on Cerberus. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Here's the lounge fly backpacks and they do have the Michael Myers in this one as well as SpongeBob. Friday the 13th we got ghost face killer clowns from outer space. Look we even have a Scooby and it says Scooby Snacks. They have a ton of zombie babies here. I'm still on the lookout for another burrito baby but look they have one two three four five five four of these crazy ones that i don't quite understand but they are creepy looking the hand eater the spider biter the singer the bug eater the butt guy the rat eater the moth eater he seems to lose a lot of moths they must just be very lightly glued onto the hand we got ghost face and sam in the tiny terrors all right they have all of the new ones they have the ghost face side stepper here and they have the leather face is he gonna work he must still have his tab in the back and they have chucky <laughs> you gotta love chucky that's a really awesome one in fact i just might buy that one today of course we also have sam and billy butcherson down there in the frankenstein sidestepper i actually broke my frankenstein sidestepper accidentally do they have a glenn let's see they have sitting sam dolls and annabelle's they have some chuckies but i do not see a glenn he is getting very very difficult to find oh look at this they got the bates motel sign all lit up and the e and the o are flashing that looks really awesome oh my gosh guys look at the this ginormous Scooby-Doo mascot head. Have I seen this in other stores? I feel like I've seen this in like one other store. That is huge. We got plenty of the cotton candy guns, but I have only seen the popcorn gun in one store, guys. How crazy is that? They sell out so quickly. Oh, hello, Freddy. I think we have covered 90% of the store, guys. I am still on the lookout for the spirit monopoly board game and i have yet to find that so we're gonna have to keep looking and apparently these guys haven't seen it either because none of them will speak up and tell me all right wait a minute i don't think we've seen the martian warrior in action in here and he has the mist coming out too very cool good job sacramento that's two stores in sacramento where the martian actually has the mist coming out the end of his gun did we say hello to the widow? I don't remember. I've been in so many stores that I can't remember. <laughs> All right, and I, yes, we did say hello to Slim because I remember coming in and looking in that crazy, crazy hairdo. Oh, and look at this, guys. They have all their animatronics behind the counter up here. They have so many here. Look at this. We have the sitting scarecrow up here on top, a couple of widows. We have the cauldronist down here, more scary sitting scarecrows over here, young crouchy, poor George, straw man, darling dolly, howling spirit, man's possessed friend, the black heart, the hex bond, leatherface, two emmelines, two little jack carvers, three little jack carvers, another young crouchy a gordo a straw man howling spirit desmodus and mars attacks holy crap guys i was just about to give up and then a lovely lady from the front desk came out and showed me where the spirit monopoly game is there it is oh my gosh i am totally buying that right here right now in sacramento california <laughs>